Was, and, and this story, I realized, evoked a lot of emotion, and it did out of me, and, and made uh, a battles with, frankly, me and the media and things. Uh, and then the whole issue of Barrett, the owner, and we had our office over there, things like that. But th this is how I looked at the bridge. Several points. Number one, whoever, in fact, cut that deal for the state of Ohio should have absolutely been investigated. No question about it. At the time, Jack Sarah was the state rep. I was the state senator. All of a sudden, Jack and I read in the newspaper, and I, and I can recall this conversation, I'm sure Jack would, would verify this. We read where there had been an emergency measure, uh, so that was the governor, to buy this bridge and rip it down. Well, Jack and I were upset about that because I was on the controlling board. All appropriations have to come to it. I called Carol Pierce Mix, I can remember her name. I said, why did you not bring that to the controlling board? She said, well, frankly, it may not have gotten approved. I said, why not? She said, well, because you're calling me, aren't you? You and Jack Sarah want this not to happen right now. You want to see if you can build a ramp. Well, of course Jack and I did. So we wanted immediately. I was like, well, don't rip it down. Let's see if we can do something first. Then if you have to rip it down, you do. She said, well, we just went emergency. I don't know who did what or when, uh, especially after what happened with me. I don't like to speculate. Um, because I, I really don't know. But I do know this. Whoever cut that deal with ODOT said to those investors on that interstate bridge company, and I had no idea who they were or are. I've never found anybody that knows who they are or were. There was investors. And they, they should have said, here's the money, minus this, the bridge gets ripped down as soon as you sign the paper. That never happened. They said, here's the money. So then there was some transfer of money to the uh, Barrick Corporation. I clearly, and, and interacted with Roger Barrick at the request of so many people, and we were very public about this, please Roger, don't rip that bridge down, don't do that, we want to save it. There was an active movement here of businesses to save yes. that bridge, emergency squads. After a certain period of time, it went on so long that uh, there was no ramp that was going to be built. There was, and we had walked out on actually down here. I think me and can't remember who had been state rep at the time, but we we walked him down here, and uh, maybe Jack Sarah was still in. And we were going to try to still do something. So at the end of the day, there's a lawsuit that comes upon. I don't know which arm of the government brought a lawsuit with Roger Barrick, and my idea was. No matter, you know, if, if this lawsuit came about and Roger Berry, you know, lost the lawsuit, okay, that money has to go back to the U.S. government to strip the thing down finally and be done with it. But it turned into a huge controversy, mm -hmm. so I just stopped the appropriation.